for your device this white light distortion. Man, I I can't explain how long I've coveted this pedal. There's just there's just something about early Earth Cricket designs. They just look so good. They're such a vibe, and uh, I don't mind admitting that if a pedal looks good, it makes me want to buy it. But uh, after having played it, I can truthfully say that it's the killer distortion tones that keeps me coming back. Um, this pedal has been out of the game for, for quite a while, but Earthquaker are bringing it back now for a limited run. So if you're looking for a raw distortion pedal with a, a pretty unique EQ and a wide gain range that'll cover everything from uh, crunchy low gain, percussive clangs, gritty garage tones and borderline fuss, then uh, don't hesitate to follow the white light. It'll take you there. Here's four of my favorite ways to use the Earthquake devices. White light. For the first sound, I'm focusing on the dynamic low gain tones in this thing, which allows me to go from crisp melodic playing to clangy and cutting rhythms simply by adjusting my pick attack. Let's hear it. White light has a, a pretty impressive gain range, so let's increase the gain a bit and deliver some raw distortion tones that still manage to uh, retain clarity, allowing both complex chords and melody lines to stand out. White Light's tone control, which is labeled uh, weight, is actually pretty unique as it both affects uh, low-end content and the overall saturation of the sound. So let's max it out and just immerse ourselves in some super saturated, grungy, shoegaze tones.
finally let's just hear this thing on a synth, because why not? Distortion freaking rules on synthesizers. <laughs> 